At People's Capital Group, we help you invest in real estate. Build your wealth by owning professionally managed apartment buildings in the northern New Jersey market. We want to show you how owning real estate is attainable, even for the busy professionals that don't have the time or experience investing in real estate. Now, we only work with select people who are serious about building wealth. So find out if you qualify at peoplescapitalgroup.com. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Passive Cash Flow Podcast, where we try to educate and help you learn how to invest passively and wisely in high demand real estate. Today, we have an interesting topic. I'm going to talk about a lot of cool things that are going on right now, People's Capital Group, and some new offerings we have out to our private qualified investor group. We also moved to a new office here in Somerville, so we're expanding our location. We wanted to get a bigger office here. We've kind of outgrown our office there in Berkeley Heights, and we're looking into new markets here in the central North Jersey area. So we're very excited here. Lots of big things happening. We're launching a fund as well. Let's break right into it here on the Passive Cash Flow Podcast. So as you know, we focus on helping people invest in apartment buildings here in New Jersey. And one of the best ways to organize that capital, make sure investors understand exactly how their capital is being invested, the types of returns they expect to make, when they expect to make those returns, and the types of taxes they may have to pay based on the investment as well. All these uh, questions need to be answered whenever you're making an investment decision. But with a real estate fund here that we're developing at People's Capital Group, it makes it easier for investors to get paid. Um, They also get paid first with a preferred rate of return. And it's easier to understand the investment and have investors pool capital prior to moving into an opportunity. So here's the PCG Fund 1 structure. Okay, We're going to have two different types of shares for PCG Fund 1 LLC here. We're going to have a $30,000 minimum investment for Class C shares. That's going to be a 5% preferred rate of return. Now, what a preferred rate of return means is that from the net proceeds, the investors get paid first. Not the operators, Seth and I, but the investors. So that makes sure that once we pay all of our bills, the mortgage, the contractors, the other costs of owning and running a property, but we have a net operating income after that. So once we have a net operating income on the property, we have positive cash flow. That cash flow gets dispersed to the investors first until they earn their preferred rate of return. From the refinance, again, the investors are gonna get the majority of the cash from the refinance until that preferred rate of return is met. Once the preferred rate of return is achieved for the investor, then the uh, funds are split up according to equity ownership. Okay, so for example, if People's Capital Group owns 40% of the LLC and the investors own 60% of the LLC, then it would be split up as a 40-60 split after the preferred rate of return is achieved, after the investors earn that preferred rate of return. It also accrues over the years. So as you know, sometimes our investments take a little while to create cash flow. So if the first year doesn't create cash flow and the second year is slow in cash flow as we're repositioning the building and moving tenants out, renovating units, leasing those up for top dollar, improving the common area, improving the amenities in the property and making it a better place to live. So by doing all these things, it takes time, it takes capital and resources, but it also slows down our cash flow. Now, once we're up and running nicely on the building and fully repositioned and we leased up the units for top dollar, then the building does actually cash flow very nicely. But up until that point, getting there is quite a challenge and the building doesn't always produce cash flow in the beginning of the investment. But long term, they're quite profitable. So because of that, our preferred rates of return will accrue over time. So if the investor doesn't get that preferred rate of return in the first one, two or three years, that's going to accrue over time. And then upon that refinance, the investors are going to realize that nice lump sum gain, that high liquidity event at a refinance and earn that preferred rate of return and then get their equity split on top of that. So let's go back to the share classes. We have a C class. That's going to be a minimum $30,000 investment with a 5% preferred rate of return. Now, the window to invest in a C-class is a little more open as well. There's generally about a 90-day period to invest in that class or until the shares are no longer available. Now, a B-class is a better share, more advantageous share that has a 7% preferred rate of return. So the C-class is a 5, the the B-class is a 7% preferred rate of return. And the minimum investment for a B-class ownership is $50,000. So 
a little bit of a larger, larger investment, but a higher preferred rate of return. Also, the window to invest in the opportunity is smaller, meaning there's about a 30-day window from August 1st to September 1st to invest in that B class. So these are the two different types of share classes or unit classes we're going to have for our fund here. Again, the B class is a 7% preferred rate of return with a $50,000 minimum investment. The C class is a 5% preferred rate of return with a $30,000 minimum investment and a bigger window of time to invest as well. So those are the two options to invest. The rewards a larger investment and a faster investment as well. But of course, for our smaller investors or people that don't have the capital right now and maybe need to wait a few more months to get invested, you also have the C class option. So at the end of the day, what should our investors expect to earn based on the preferred rate of return plus the proceeds from the equity ownership? Well, the answer is between 10 to 12% annualized cash on cash return. So that's always our goal. Whenever we're buying an apartment building, the C-class owners are going to get around a 10% annualized targeted cash on cash return. That's our target. Our B-class target is about a 12% annualized cash on cash return. Now, remember, these are not guaranteed returns. These are preferred rates of return plus equity ownership. But the bottom line is we need to perform to get the deal done. We need to perform to get paid ourselves. See, we're not a fee-based fund here. Seth Martinez, my business partner, and I here at People's Capital Group, we do not charge an assets under management fee. Most funds charge an AUM, assets under management. That means they charge a percentage of the funds they've raised or the price of the building or rents collected. There's different ways to do it. And that's a fee that they collect no matter what. So we don't charge an AUM, and that allows more proceeds to our investors. We also charge a very discounted property management fee because we own our own property management company. Now, this allows us to reposition the building more aggressively and get the project done faster for a better price. Um, And in turn, we charge a discounted property management fee. So we don't make profit from our property management side. We just own the property management company to keep better control of our assets and produce better returns for our investors. And that's what we focus on here at People's Capital Group. So we are not a fee-based fund. We don't do a disposition fee. We don't do an assets under management fee. We do a discounted property management fee, which we'd have to pay a company regardless. And we do charge an acquisition fee, which is usually industry standard. Quite simply, the amount of work and cost to procure a good opportunity here in New Jersey a discounted apartment building for sale that's mismanaged and has value add opportunity. That's really, really hard to do. And there's hard concrete cost to that. So we do charge a reasonable acquisition fee upon closing of the property, upon acquisition of the property. So here at People's Capital Group, we're really not a fee-based fund. We're an equity-based fund. That means we need to perform to get paid ourselves. And that means our investors get paid first. So that's nice uh, uh, clarity for our investors and, and satisfaction. And it helps them sleep well at night knowing that the first proceeds from high demand cash flowing real estate is going to go to them and, and also upon the refinance as well. So that's our new fund. That's PCG Fund 1 LLC we're going to be creating in the next few weeks here. Our private placement memorandum, our operating agreement, our offering memorandum, our pitch deck, they're all going to be available around the first week of August. And we'll be launching this fund around then as well. So there are ways to get qualified. You can go to peoplescapitalgroup.com, click the button, review opportunities there, and fill out the basic application form. So then we'll reach out to you and set up your discovery call. Now, we are still a 506B, so I do need to have a discovery call with everyone before they invest. Now, if you've invested with People's Capital Group before, then you've already had that discovery call, or maybe you've already had that call with me as well, and then you would ideally just need to fill out that application, and we'll mark you as verified, and therefore you can review the opportunity. Now, if you haven't had this discovery call, again, you want to go to peoplescapitalgroup.com, click review opportunities, fill out that basic application form on our Syndication Pro software there. And that way you'll be able to see uh, past transactions and not upcoming opportunities because you'll have to schedule that discovery call. But once you fill out that basic application form, you'll be prompted to schedule that discovery call. It's about a 15 to 30 minute call uh, between me and a potential investor First of all, make sure you qualify to invest with People's Capital Group as an accredited or sophisticated investor. And secondly, make sure our investment goals align, learn what your goals are, talk more about the upcoming offering and about our past performance and how it works investing with People's Capital Group and the type of experience you'd expect, the monthly updates, the quarterly financials and cash flow, the buy, renovate, refinance strategy to pay our investors a tax-free lump sum upon the refinance. 
So we'll talk about all this in the discovery call. And that's a big, that's an important part of getting qualified to invest with People's Capital Group. Unfortunately, I have to have a discovery call with everyone. It's not really unfortunate. It gives me a chance to learn about your investment goals and for you to have your questions answered as well. So it's a great opportunity for us to connect and determine if we're a fit. Um, but it is an extra level of a step in my day, of course, and yours as well. So you do have to go to peoplescapitalgroup.com, click review opportunities, fill out that basic application form, and then it's going to prompt you to schedule that discovery call with me right through Calendly and make sure you're available for that call and you're able to pay attention to that 15 to 30 minute call. So that's the process to get qualified. That's the structure of the fund as well. We talked about the 5% preferred rate of return for class C shares. We talked about the class B shares, a little bit larger investment. That's a uh, 7% preferred rate of return and also the deadline to invest. So that you have to invest by September uh, 1st for the class B shares, the better share class, and uh, by December 1st or until they're available for the C class, the lesser uh, class option. So that's our fund. That's our fund structure. That's the qualification process. It all starts at peoplescapitalgroup.com. And now I want to move on to our new office here in, in Somerville, New Jersey. We've moved to 92 East Main Street, Somerville, New Jersey, Suite 306. Come by and check us out. We have a great office here. We're still decorating it and moving in here. But we want to move our office to Somerville for a couple of reasons. First of all, we kind of outgrew Berkeley Heights. Um, it, it was a smaller office place and we have events in our office and we started to have too many people come to the events and we couldn't fit them all in our smaller office there. So we need to expand our space because our company is expanding as well. So that's a good problem to have here as we're growing our business here at People's Capital Group. Second reason is we want to tap into new markets. You know, Somerville's a little more central than Berkeley Heights. I mean, we're really, we're 20 minutes away from Berkeley Heights. That's really not that different uh, location, but it's nice. There's more restaurants and options for lunch and things like that. I love getting lunch with investors. We go out all the time for, for lunch. If you're invested with the uh, People's Capital Group here, that's something I do every year or so with, with my uh, investor group and one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, so great, great lunch options here, but we really want to focus on different markets. We're looking at the Somerville market. We're looking at Trenton, New Jersey. We're looking at the, the Brunswick's. We still love Patterson and Newark and Essex County, Union, Morris County, uh, Bergen, Hudson. We love those markets. We're very aggressively buying in those markets as well, but we're also open to West and Central Jersey a little bit more. So by moving out to this area, we see a lot of opportunity in West Jersey. We are getting into development a little bit more, so we see more opportunity out here to possibly develop more. And West and Central Jersey, I think, have a lot of room to grow, as well as North Jersey. So we're focused on all these markets here throughout New Jersey. Uh, we, of course, still love Newark and Patterson. We're still going to bring tons of opportunities in those markets to our investor group. Well-qualified, well-vetted opportunities. But we're also looking at opportunities in Trenton, New Jersey right now, and more central uh, parts of Jersey and west parts of Jersey also. So we have our hands in a lot of different Jersey markets here. We specialize in New Jersey. That's what we're laser focused on. We have an in-house management company that manages these properties. So we take misperforming properties, mismanaged assets. We buy them for discounted prices. We pool together capital with a number of investors so they can get the benefits of owning these properties without having to do all the heavy lifting behind the scenes. Put their capital to work in, hard, uh, in nice assets, uh, good hard assets, brick and mortar assets in a high demand market here in New Jersey with a professionally managed team. And that's what we focus on doing at People's Capital Group. So it all starts at peoplescapitalgroup.com. You can learn more about us there. We have educational material. By the way, we don't sell coaching or boot camps or rah-rah events. We just focus on helping people invest in real estate. But we have tons of content on our website, videos, a weekly uh, blogs, weekly podcast episodes, um, educational events I do live about twice a month or so. We slow down in July here, but I'll pick up again in August and September. So all that content's at peoplescapitalgroup.com. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. And you can also click on the top button there, review opportunities. That's going to allow you to fill out that basic application form, get start the qualification process to get signed up to review our opportunities. And then once you fill out that basic application form, it's going to prompt you to schedule that discovery call, which is extremely important. If you don't schedule that call, unfortunately, you cannot review our new offering, but we do have a new offering out. We have a new fund that's going into a new offering. Now, the reason I didn't talk about the property today is because the SEC restricts me from 
is talking about a specific property. So we are launching a fund. I'm talking about the different shares of the fund and different uh, details here, but I want to keep it as vague as possible. Uh, of course, there are SEC regulations as we operate a 506B. So this is not a solicitation for capital. This is not a solicitation for funds, tax advice, or legal advice. But I am telling you about what we're doing here at People's Capital Group, what we have on the horizon, and hopefully you want to team up with us in different ways and learn more about how we help people invest in real estate and build their legacy wealth long term. All starts at peoplescapitalgroup.com. Hope you enjoyed this podcast episode. Subscribe for a new episode every week of the Passive Cash Flow Podcast. Have a good day.